Hello everybody. So most of you or some of you may have seen my video where we surprised the kids and brought home a puppy. So a few people actually were saying, well, we never got to see the puppy. So here is our little guy. He is eight weeks old. He is a purebred Siberian Husky and his name is Juno. Juno, you wanna say hi? Got, he got a new treat today from the pet store, so he's pretty excited. Hey, look at those blue eyes, yeah. You like that? This is like a cow's throat, apparently, or something. Can you say gross? <laughs> he seems to like it, though. So that's Juno, everybody. We look forward to watching him grow with our family. And the kids love him to death, and my daughter just smothers him and never leaves him alone. But that's him. Hope you guys enjoyed the little quick video on to painting. See you guys soon. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you liked the little short clip of uh, Juno the puppy. Um, we are super excited that he is now part of our lives. Um, he can't, what day is it today? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So we got him Tuesday. So it's been uh, just almost two and a half, three days. And uh, he's settling in nicely. So a few people were asking me they wanted to see what he looked like. So there he was. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. And now let's get on to painting. Um, someone, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name had commented on uh, one of my videos and asked, um, mentioned that uh, she's bought a bunch of hair dryers and none, none of them seem to be working. They're too powerful and she can't get it right. She'd like to see the Dutch pour done with either a straw or just blowing. Um, I did do one uh, mouth versus hair dryer, um, but I'm gonna do another one. Um, so this one, is gonna be based on A, the lovely lady who asked me to do another Dutch pour but using my mouth instead of the hair dryer. And then the other inspiration on this is, of course, my favorite friend, Rinske, who is doing her um, Bright series. Uh, she just posted her, I think she calls it the white and bright or light and bright. Um, and she posted video number five of it and the colors were just amazing and I love them and I want to try it as well. So Rinska, thank you for that. Uh, I love seeing how you do that technique and you don't use the hair dryer either. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I have an eight by eight inch cradled um, wood board. I thought I'd try it on wood instead of canvas this time. I have taped the back, but I've also taped my edges. Uh, when I do anything on cradled wood or on MDF board, uh, I always top it off with a coat of resin. So because I'm gonna be resining this piece at the end, after it's all dry, I want to make sure my sides are all clean uh, and there's no paint dripping on the side. So I have taped off the sides and the back and that is ready to go. So we're gonna start by flooding the board with our white. So in here I have Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White mixed with Floetrol. And that's all I have in here. There's no water or anything in here. So let's just spread it around. And um, I've mentioned before, if anyone, these, this spatula is, I love it. It's perfect for spreading out the paint. Um, it's actually an omelette turning spatula. So for those of you who love omelettes, uh, this is what this is for. Uh, the brand is called OXO, OXO. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. So anyone who's interested, that's where I got it from. So I've put my base of white, I'm going to Pop all the bubbles. Make sure I get all those bubbles out. There we go. All right, so colors. Um, 
I had these already pre-mixed. There's a bunch more here on the side that you can't see and I didn't feel like making any new colors. So I figured I'll just uh, use what I've got. And so I'm just gonna see if I can show you, let's see here, what color would be best. A lot of people ask me what my consistency is, if how thin is my paint. Let me see if I can show you. Um, everyone asks me if I have a ratio. I don't, I don't measure anything. I never have, I never will. Um, so it's just paint and Floetrol. And you basically want it to be runny. You want it to run off the stick. So let me see if I can pick another color where you can see it. Let's try, no, that probably won't work. Let's try a bright color. Let's see. It's hard. So you want it to be watery. You don't want it like really watery, but you don't want it thick either. So these have just paint and Floetrol in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little puddle. Um, I'm not even gonna do puddles, I'm just gonna do some drips. I'm following what uh, Rinska does because I really, really love that technique she's doing. There's something in my paint here. Get rid of that, there we go. So this one's gonna be super simple with just some drops, nothing big. So that is, um, this is Azo Pink from Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And this is Cadmium Deep Yellow Hue by Liquitex Basics. Just a few drops. Followed by Turquoise by Artist Loft. Let's see if we can see that. I think I showed you this one already, but yeah, pretty watery. So we'll add the turquoise. All right. Uh, purple. This is um, violet. That's what this is. This is violet from uh, either Artist Loft or Liquitex Basics. I can't remember, but it's violet. So this is violet. Come on, there we go. Uh, one more, right there, okay? And last but not least, one of my favorites, Thalo Blue by Academy. So. I think that's good. We'll do one more drop right there, okay. So minimal paint, not too much. So I'm gonna put my cap back on here. All right. I'm gonna flood my canvas, or not the canvas, the board, flood the colors around. Now, let's see if I can do it as Awesome as Rinska. So I'm going to just blow the paint over. Without getting my hair everywhere. All right, so now I'm just gonna blow it and see where it goes. Oh, I didn't pop my bubbles. Let's do that real quick. There we go. All right. like a flower right in the center that's really pretty actually 
I'm really, really liking this down here. And you know what? I have been reading everyone's comments on all my videos and a lot of people have lovely, lovely things to say. And, you know, some people have some criticism and, you know, um, but that's fine because I like to hear all the positives and the negatives. So one of the things I've heard some people say is, you know, it was looking good until you blew on it and then you ruined it. Well, yeah, that's great. Um, you know, if, if you could talk to me while watching, then that would be superb. But unfortunately, this isn't a live, you know, back and forth. But I'm going to take these, this advice from the, the people who have commented. And you know what? I'm not going to blow it anymore. I'm actually going to leave it just the way it is. I'm going to leave all the white negative space around it. I'm not going to have it go over the edges. I'm going to listen for a change and I'm going to leave it like that. So I like it. I think it's beautiful. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Um, so feel free to comment below. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the little notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. And let me just bring you guys up for a close up. It turned out really, it's like a flower. I really love it. So Rinska, thank you very much for your white and bright series. Oops, hit the camera. Um, it's a great idea. I love it. I love the hair dryer and I'm still always going to use it, but I really like this as well. And I love that there is negative, the white, negative white space, negative space all the way around. Loving it. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little cameo of my little precious boy, Juno. And that is it, everybody. Short and sweet. Thank you for watching. And we will see you soon. Take care. Bye, everyone.